This is Stephen, the man in the mountain, who's had electricity for over a year now, and yet still leads a very simple life. Cutting the wood for the fire, living up in the middle of the mountains. He can connect to the mobile phone now. He has his television set in the evening. And he can make mountainy tea, the water from the rain, because there's still no water. And when he's very cold, he has two heaters as well as his own fire and the fridge for his milk and butter, which he never had before. And he's just purchased a microwave. This is his. Yeah, he was he was a picture man, you know, and he was a yeah, he was unreal. He was going hunger striking and everything and fasting for two days. And, and then he was after an operation. The light shines where it never shone before for over 60 years, 69 years he's been here now. Let there be light. The mud is outside the house. He lives a simple life. Forestry people leave him logs to cut up for the fire. And this is one of his big jobs. He uses his chainsaw or splits the bigger ones as he's doing here now. 69 years Stephen has lived here now. But there's been improvements. The main road up to Stephen has um, been improved so the coal lorry can come up. Stones have been put down. Other cars can come up where previously they couldn't. Here's the view looking down the path up to Stephen's house with his fields beyond and the new stones. It's still a very rough place to live. Here is the terrain where Stephen lives if you look to the left and the right. Cross wild forest mountains. And for over 60 years he's walked these forest paths with deep green shades. Maybe a thousand times, maybe two thousand times. He's walked and walked. He's never afraid. Here he is walking to the main road where he might and might not get a lift. It's January 2012. He has his leather jacket on. And he makes his way slowly, carefree, to the main road. We wish you well, Stephen, in the mountains. We wish you were well away from the wires of the world and the busyness of life in general. And we hope you enjoy your life in the forest tucked away. Good luck to you, Stephen.